if a teacher is teaching a lesson plan to the student then the lesson plan should consist of three domain one is cognitive domain the second one is the affective domain and the third one is the psychomotor domain cognitive domain consists of the learning part of it that is how the student is intellectually improving himself the next one is affective domain in the affective domain in part of it the child will try to improve the feeling and the trust towards the lesson that is the child will try to receive the information and try to value it before internalizing it that is the child will impose a trust on the teacher to improve the value system in him the third part of it is psychomotor skills if it is a psychomotor skills there should be a readiness and the perception point in the student it is the responsibility of the teacher to improve that readiness towards learning that particular skill and the child will try to interact having a guided response then go to completely actualizing it that is making it a habit therefore every lesson plan must consist of cognitive domain affective domain and psychomotor domain